LA County is looking for hundreds of new lifeguards and is raising incentives for potential new hires. The county has increased wages ranging from about $23 to $30 an hour for pool and lake lifeguards. That's the highest pay in the region. The county is hoping to fill 500 positions for the summer swim season, which begins on Memorial Day. Sarah, thank you. Today, there are more than 1,300 endangered or threatened species in the United States. That's according to the Environmental Protection Agency. And the organization Peace for Animals has made it its mission now to support the voiceless for more than a decade. So joining me now is the founder of the organization, Katie Cleary. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's Appreciate so nice it. to meet you. Thank you. And just talking to you briefly uh, before we even came on camera, I, I can tell how passionate you are about this topic. I do want to talk about you and, and the way you've been funding these projects mm -hmm. because something you told me was that you dipped into your own pocket to make sure this was done. That's how passionate you are. Yeah, yeah. So our first documentary, Give Me Shelter, um, was just a, a chance that I took. I thought, you know, I grew up in entertainment on the other side of the camera, and I thought, you know, I think I know how to, to produce a documentary. So um, I had residuals from a commercial I did uh, for seven years that kept running, and I thought, you know, I need to use these residuals for something uh, greater than myself to raise awareness for animals and specifically endangered species. So I produced the and, and wrote the documentary, Give Me Shelter, and um, sold it to Netflix in 2015. And then um, the newest documentary uh, called Why on Earth just came out um, mm -hmm. with Clint Eastwood, and uh, and we you know we had a budget for that one, so <laughs> <laughs> which is great. We filmed in Africa, Indonesia, all these amazing countries to show the plight of uh, endangered elephants, rhinos, lions, um, sharks, mm -hmm. you know, and and, um, and how to save them. So when did you realize that this was your passion? Because like yeah. you said before, I mean, you had uh, commercials, you're a yeah. model, you've been in front of the camera. When did you make that change? in the trajectory of your career to then focus on this? Well, really, it started when I was about 11 years old. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Chicago uh, with my mom, and she was a single mom, and uh, she loved animals, and specifically big cats. So when I learned the plight of tiger tigers uh, at that time, there was only 5,000 tigers left in the wild. I thought, you know what, I have to do something on a greater scale to, to be able to raise enough funds to help protect tigers in the wild. So it was really uh, big cat conservation was how I started. Mm -hmm. And then I would rescue wildlife in our own backyard. So baby squirrels that had fallen out of a nest, or, or uh, you know, baby rabbits, and we would uh, rehabilitate them and then re-release them back into the wild. So that was really where it, where it began. And then one day I thought, you know, I want to start my own foundation to help animals worldwide. That so. is so great. Yeah. Uh, we actually do have an exclusive clip because yeah. I know you're working on this new project too. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. In the heart of the untamed, where the very essence of wilderness is preserved, there exist creatures that stand as the guardians of the wild. Since being reintroduced into Yellowstone Park, they have revitalized overgrazed vegetation and erosion decreased significantly. So that is a clip there from um, Protectors of the Wild that focuses on wolves, yes, right? Yes. And I'm just so curious because you've done so many documentaries and this is obviously your passion, but you must be learning something along the way when you're going to all these different locations, when you're meeting these people, when Absolutely. you're collaborating together. So what's something that you've taken away? Well, I think um, that we all have a chance to be their voice and, and we must use our platform whatever it may be, whether it's on social media, whether it's just telling friends and family to try to you know, visit these animals in the wild if they can, um, that we can do our, our part no matter how small or big it is. Um, so it really starts in our own backyards. Mm -hmm. So whether that's just leaving a dish of water out for wildlife, whether that's um, stopping if you see an animal that was hit by a car on the side of the road, making sure that they're okay or calling your local wildlife rehab uh, center to help them um, or volunteering at a sanctuary or a wildlife rehab. I mean, we can all do whatever we can to to help make this world a better place than the way we found it and um, and I have a tremendous faith in God and I feel like um, each of us has a mission on this on this earth to do better uh, and to you know and, and for my my mission is obviously animals so yeah I'm so fascinated <laughs> by all of this that that um, little clip that we just saw though that's not finished yet right it's not finished yet yeah Okay. so tell me what we have to do to get that done so so well this uh, protectors of the wild um, I just thought you know we don't have the funding for it we don't have the budget for it but I'm just gonna film as we go so all the legislative meetings we were a part of um, the reintroduction of wolves into Colorado which just happened at the end of last year, which is amazing. Um, as you know, in, in Yellowstone, it changed the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You know, erosion stopped, uh, species and, and, and different plant species uh, obviously came back in Yellowstone. And so um, 
you know, wolves are native to our ecosystem, but we've eradicated them because of, you know, the meat and dairy industry, sadly, and, and cattle ranching and hunters. So, um, you know, wolves in the Northern Rockies are not protected right now, which is very sad. So the Relist Wolf Coalition that we're highlighting in the documentary um, will try to relist them on in every state uh, in the United States. So they're protected right now in every state but the Northern Rockies where they're being hunted. Got it. So. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, well, let everyone know where they can find you and where they can watch all of uh, your projects yeah. and possibly help help you out. Yeah, well, um, definitely check out uh, Why on Earth, which is our latest documentary um, starring Clint Eastwood, and that's on Apple, iTunes, Amazon, all streaming platforms. Uh, and we have a news network called World Animal News, so please check that out, uh, worldanimalnews.com every day, and Peace for Animals, our foundation. So Thank you so much yeah. for being here. This Thank was you. So in you're so insightful, and I can tell how passionate you are. So. Uh, well, thank I you really so much appreciate for, you for having you coming me. on. Yeah, um, we're going to post all of this uh, on our website, katecounties.com/slash/the-morning-wrap.